Okay, we're still on the Algebra 2 EOC practice test. We're at question number 17. It says, a company analyzes wind patterns to determine whether to install windmills in Kingsport, Tennessee to generate electricity. The graph below shows the average monthly wind speeds in Kingsport over a two-year period. And we can look at this pretty little graph. It's got waves. makes me think of the beach. A function describing this graph is a transformation of the parent sine function, y equals sine x. Which value is closest to the amplitude of this transformed function? Well, first of all, let me caution you, do not, whoa, do not worry about that sign. That's why I marked it out. Do not worry about it says y equals sine x. That doesn't mean you're going to have to actually do trig on this problem. So first of all, we can throw that away. But it does say we need to look at what is the amplitude, which is part of the word I marked out there. Well, the amplitude means half the distance from the very bottom to the very top, kind of like a crest and a trough of a wave. So we look at that, and here, since it's kind of off a little bit, we just kind of got to, what I do, guesstimate. And we look and see that this is close to 4. This bottom point here is very close to 4. And the top point is just a little above 7. And if we do that, we do 7 minus 4, we get 3. But the amplitude is half that number. So if we divide that by 2, we get approximately you know, 1.5. And so that would be our amplitude. Now going down through here and looking at our choices in the bin, well, 7.2 can't possibly work. Neither can 5.6 or 3.9. And we're left with 1.7, which is miraculously very close to our 1.5. So the amplitude on a graph, that's the best way and the quickest way to find it. So good luck.